priests arrested after group sex on the altar of a church. Let's get into this mess, you guys. Okay. Pearl River, Louisiana. On September 30th, a passerby noticed that the lights of the St. Peter's St. Peter and Paul Roman Catholic Church in Pearl River were on unusually late. According to court documents, the onlooker saw the small parish's pastor partially naked having sex with two women on the altar. The women were wearing corsets and high-heeled boots. There were even sex toys and special stage lighting, as well as a mobile phone and a separate camera mounted on tripods recording the whole scene. An eyewitness took a video and called the police who arrived at the church and viewed that recording. Officers then arrested Reverend Travis Clark, who had been pastor of St. Pe Saints Peter's and Paul since 2019, and the two women on obscenity charges. Okay, why? Okay, I, I have a lot of problem with this. And for the first, no, it's not the first time, but I'm going to actually <laughs> defend the priests. Yes. What, what did, why was this obscenity charges? Why? According they were having consensual sex, mm -hmm. group sex, and what's, what's wrong with that? Why were they arrested? According they weren't doing it in the street in public. They were doing it yeah. in a building. It was that in person a church. Was being a voyeur, yeah. which is the actually person, also a crime. Yeah, the person who reported it should be arrested, not the priest. The, like You're like watching people have sex without their consent. The person that was reported it should be arrested. I mean, what the? I mean, you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know, I, I, I think what the the reason why the priest was arrested. You know how the priest could have gotten away with this? Oh boy! If the women involved were underage, the oh probably boy. the entire Catholic Church would be defending this person right now. Okay. But because they're not underage, the Catholic Church is like throwing him under, under the bus. <laughs> like, I, I, it seems like that's how it works. But if it's consensual and if it's with adults, apparently then they have a problem. Because the Catholic Church is not protecting this. They, in fact, like uh, coming out and like, what, what did they do? They came out and do, did some they magic. They disfellowshipped him. No, they disfellowshipped him. But yeah, so fast, like not even like waiting. Like, yeah, Actually, these are not, not the like they were. What the, the Catholic Church is like? What are they? What are you doing? These are adults. God damn it, right? But uh, also, they came and they purified the church after from the evil. Um, so again, so why is okay, Susanna? Why is this a crime? I don't understand. You're having sex in a private building in your own private time with consenting adults. And you get arrested for that? Can somebody explain to me what's uh, happening? According to the documents and this article, it was they were arrested on obscenity because they could be seen from the street doing this. Wait, so if I if I have sex in my own home and then you peek into my home from across the street and watch me have sex are you gonna come and arrest me because you could see through my window from across the street that i'm having sex even though i'm doing it in a private area is that a crime also i don't know police said the charge stems from quote obscene acts that occurred on the altar which is clearly visible from the street end quote yeah i mean again clearly visible from the street if it's in my own private area how clearly <laughs> I don't Somebody, know how work in Louisiana. So, okay. okay, so what is it? What the, well, that's the thing that I find really interesting about this whole thing is A, it's in Louisiana, which doesn't surprise me because if you've ever been there. And Hell also, yeah. um, it's sort of metal AF. Oh, it is. Are you kidding me? That's why I love this story. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't think okay I honestly think that the person that reported it was probably like came looking right like yeah I, I don't think like you could see from across the street like from across the street you could point like oh I could see those people having group sex I, I think somebody is exaggerating like I mean even I mean have you have, inside the church if you look at it like it's really 
you know, the whole room is really big. Like, I'm pretty sure even if you're actually in the room from far away, you might be like, wait, what's happening? So if from across the street to be able to see what's happening, it's, I think somebody is, like, push. I think they're pushing it. I think it's nonsense. They were walking by the church and looked inside through the windows and glass doors because the lights are still on. Wait, they were looking through the glass doors. I mean, have you seen yeah. church glasses? They're, like, color, like, they're, like, Pixely and colorful, right? Like not, they, so, paint, not stained glass, glass right. doors. Glass doors. So they had, were they were passing. So they didn't they didn't see it from across the street. They were peeking through the glass doors. They were right next to the damn door. Like somebody just came. Like somebody saw the lights well, on because and they, they were, were curious. Being a concerned citizen, and they saw the lights on, and they were like, "What's going on? Why?" Yeah. The so they had to the take. Exactly. So they had to actively go investigate to see what's happening. It, it's not like they couldn't avoid seeing it. They had to go peek through the glass door to be like to see to understand what's happening. So it's not like the entire neighborhood could just like look at the church and be like, "Oh yeah, people are having group sex over there." Okay. So we don't if know. you had to I mean, peek, we don't know yeah. the crime. No, they just said it. They're just saying like they, they just saw that they saw the light is on and they had to go towards the building and peek through. Only then they understood what's happening, okay? They didn't just, like, glance from across the street at the church and were like, oh, yeah, group sex is happening. So if you actually had to do ex take extra steps to figure out what's happening, that means that they were this was private. So it's bullcrap to say, like, oh, this was, like, obscenity because you could see it from across the street. It's not, I call BS, Susanna. Each could face six months to three years in prison if convicted. On a Oof. Okay, we need and to defend gonna some And they're going to be on the sex offenders list, too? Because, Ooh. like, in Ohio, or some states, if you get uh, an obscenity charge, even if it was, like, you know, you get caught urinating in the woods or something, and someone, you know, catches you and calls the police because... It could you could be uh, charged with obscenity or public indecency, and then you could sometimes they get put people. I don't know what the laws are in Louisiana, but that would be really terrible if that happened to them. But I also think you know, remember this is a really kind of Catholic area. They don't have counties in Louisiana; they have parishes. So yeah, I'm, it's got. I like think a that really. Anyways. I think for the sake of the sake of the children, we need to be on the side of priests having sex with adults, okay? I think we should be like, yes, please, more of this. Save the children, right? So this should be this shouldn't be this should be promoted rather than condemned, demonized. What the hell's wrong the with The Church you, of Satan had a hilarious tweet. They re they quote retweeted the story and they said like the Catholic Church should be celebrating like consensual sex between adults. Like this yeah. seems like a success for you guys. <laughs> The Church of Satan. Well, the that's Levain kind of the Satan. thing with the Catholic Church, though, is on some level, all sex is bad. So whether it's consensual between adults or whether it's non-consensual between an adult and a child, it's all on this spectrum of it's all bad. So what does it matter if it's this or this other really far end of the spectrum? You know, and of course I'm being, I'm not saying all, and but to a degree, that's kind of the mindset. Well, that's what the doctrine had, teaches. Right, that's what I mean. So, Canon law is that God's mm -hmm. perfect design is sex specifically for procreation within holy matrimony. And that's well, it. You, could have, you can't you could have do babies more, anymore, you, then you have to live as brother and sister. You could do more procreation in group sex than just individual sex. But Not again, I... Matrimony. Okay, but I, I can't get over the fact of how fast the Catholic Church threw these people under the bus, right? They are basically signaling to everybody, if you want our legal support, make sure they're children. That's what they're signaling to people, right? But anyways, any... I'm trying to find exactly how they um, threw him out. Um... Is he a Catholic mm. priest or is he an Episcopalian? Because they were calling Catholic. Him reverend. Catholic. Okay. Yeah, they're against the against. Actually, yeah. okay. To be fair, 
the art okay not fair here's an uh, accurate um the archdiocese announced it had suspended clark from the ministry the day after he was arrested the archdiocese would not comment on clark's arrest saying authorities were investigating the matter yeah that's much more than they did with the other people right but he hasn't people that... been fully disrobed yeah, but or communicated or anything. still no, no, I, even... agree. I agree i yeah, agree but yeah. i'm clarifying what i said earlier right. Right, right, right. Correct. Uh, so, so I was saying, but aren't churches supposed to be public spaces? So they were having sex in public. No, 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 no. It's a pri it's a, you it's a private building that, um, especially after hours where people cannot go inside. It's a building. It's a private building that they own. So no, it's not a public space, right? You close the doors. You you could do whatever you want in it as long as you're not hurting anybody, right? Um, in fact, now I think this is a, on my bucket list. Um, Sajib is saying, what do you think about, okay, this is not, oh, yeah, that's not relevant to our news today, but we could talk about that later. Um, all right, should we, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos